Now this is a model I've been after for a long, long time. Hi guys, Retro Trek Ralph here with another unboxing of a, let's say, a classic toy. This time it's the Playmates Classic Star Trek USS Enterprise NCC 1701. When I saw this on eBay being advertised, I had to get it, literally had to. I never had one of these. At the, in the day, I detested these because, yeah, they looked okay. This oh, this picture down here looks really good, really nice model, lots of lines on there, more detailed. It's the screws underneath that I couldn't stand, but these seem to be going rather well. I quite like them. Shame they didn't do the D7, but that's by the by, really ignore that one completely. It's just a, a thing anyway. So we have the classic Playmates Enterprise, practice number 66851. Bought it on eBay a little while ago, but getting around to doing videos is a problem lately anyway, because just trying to get the time to do these. It's it doesn't it does but it doesn't it looks nice there are better I mean, granted the Art Asylum Diamond Select ones are far superior to these. I do know that. Oh I've just noticed something. Okay, why does that say 1701D? Hmm okay. That one does as well. That's weird. Okay. So you've got a nice little overview of the ship, uh, border registry, it was a one year, San Francisco Yard, which we can assume wasn't actually like Star Trek, the J.J. Rams film was, it was actually on the ground, it was probably in orbit above where San Francisco is. I, I, I assume, I don't know. But it, it's a nice enough little model. Four and up, I'm a little older than that, that's fine. When I did the Enterprise D, the four, it was a four part of that one anyway, which started off with a bit of retro brighting, then a, a full rebuild of the model, and then a nice little gold one at the end, which looked really, really brilliant on the shelf. This, I'm, I want to do something with this, but I also, I don't. So the box is in pretty much condition. I need to figure out which side to go into. I'm probably going through this side anyway. So let's have a look. It's got some cardboard with it. Bought this. And the cardboards are a little squashed, but I can I can fix them anyway. Why there's actually a piece of cardboard? I will once this goes back together do the cardboards better. So that's the box emptied now anyway. So I can just store that over there for storage sake. I don't know why these are. I'll figure that out eventually anyway. I'm sure, but a little bit crushed, but I can mend those anyway open her up. Again, with the Enterprise D that I've built, well, that I've got, the stickers have never been used. Now, do I or do I not use the stickers on this? So we have a base with this that looks like it's never been out. I, I, it hasn't. It hasn't been out of the uh, the stand list. This is a a brand new box and for all of us. That comes out because that's what I'm for there and he's already took this off anyway and there's already a hole in there. He says he never displayed this. But um, I'm not sure. See, you see what I mean about all the screws? They're just a little bit... Yeah. And I'm going to keep all of this because this will go back in as original packing. The wire is still on here so I need to try and take this off. Yeah, I'm going to take off the wire which is still taped to the bottom side of here. It's how they did these certain, th certain things. I'm actually going to cut that. I don't want to rip the box. I know it's from the inner packing, but I don't really want to rip the inner packing. So I'm going to get the wire out. Come on, Ralph. If only I edited my movies, my movies, my videos better. Now that's just ripping that. So they just twist some cable around, which is quite odd. But this is me being a little bit excitable. There we go. So we've got everything out. The packaging is, like I say, hmm. But we can fix that. We can rebuild. Oh, hello. We've actually got the um, the part for the. That's a rare one. The part that goes in there, does it? Yeah. That's quite rare to find. 
You know what I was like? No. You don't usually see that. So I've actually got the full completed box. Weird. Weird. So we have the cell in the cell, port and starboard. Still, still literally blanked up. I can't actually believe this is. And there's a couple of scratches on there, a couple of bit of dirt on. So he has had this out, but this is now mine and not his. So let me just tidy up a little bit and get these out of the bags as best as I can. Even though there's a... And I'll come back to you in a second. So all pieces are here. We have the port nacelle and pylon, the starboard nacelle and pylon. Why not it like that? Because it goes like that. The stand and a badgie. Yes. <laughs> So basically all we do with this is slide in the stand onto underneath there. Maybe go a little bit further in. Nope. Okay, so we've got to click in on that part there. So why won't that go in? Okay. We'll go in that way then. Okay. So nice classic badge there, silver, just to hold in and I assume it goes into the way that screw hole there goes so that can go in and just sits rather nice and snugly in, pl snugly in place it very feels very front heavy there's connectors inside here to go into the starboard does that click into place I'm taking off the stand a second definitely is because the grids go on the inside there you go that clicks into place and that goes in into place. There, we have the Constitution Class Enterprise. Top side doesn't look too bad. There's a few little scratches on here I can potentially polish out. Bits of paint have been put in the wrong place. Even in the corner here, I can't understand why that's like that. But I can touch it with a bit of paint anyway. Seems, yeah, and, and joint parts. It's like having a model kit and just snapping off the excess. But there she is, all stood up, looking as wobbly as anything, but yeah, very nice. Now, the batteries on this, because this is a, a lit and a sounded one, go at the bottom, so let's have a look here. Unscrew one part there, that's out, that's off, no it's not. Very thin thread. That will come off in one go. The diamond select ones would have had a had a section on here which goes on and it would have been displayed as a ship, as a cover, whereas the base would have had an extra part if you want to put it on a base. So this would actually be attached to some of the diamond selects, some of the later playmates as well. So that would have been fine. I said, I'm not sure the playmates did. I'm sure the diamond select did. You came with a spare one in case you want to just display this hanging from the ceiling or on the base which it was already attached to. But since the position of this is a little different, now what I need is three AAA batteries. I thought there might be a switch inside there but there isn't. So let me find some batteries and get this powered up. And as by magic the batteries are in. So let's put it back onto the stand. I'll put it that way around just to be awkward. There we go and we're done. So we have four buttons on the back of here. They used to do put four, either the lighting or the do for other parts anyway. So I'll put a little bit dimmer in here, shall we say. Hopefully the camera will show up everything. Let's go with the first button. That's the old warp. Um, yeah, warp sound the engine used to do. Speakers behind here, that's why the holes are in here. Second button. Sounds like a torpedo. I'm guessing that'll be a phaser. No, that's a... A general, yeah, it's a general bridge sound, shall we say. There's the phrases. Now, unlike others, you might be able to see here if I put the. Let's do light up. So, what I want to do is, is just turn the lights off in, in the garage a second. Alexa, garage off. See, sometimes it doesn't work. Alexa, garage off. There okay. you go. So I've got the television behind anyway, so let's press a button. <laughs> the 
There's no other light on this, unfortunately. This is the only problem with it, is it kind of, that's all you get. I could quite easily attempt to, because you can see on the front of here they've got the holes for the front windows, side windows. I could drill out the sides, especially on the side of here. So I'll get you a light back on on for the desk. Oh, too bright. But yeah, I could, but I think with the actual, yeah, the state of this, because this was made in 1995, by Playmates, I am not going to restore, I am not going to, I might clean up certain bits, I don't know why that's a little bit gunky on the back of there, I might paint that corner as well, but I think <sighs> it's going to pain me to do it, but I think we should put the stickers on, I think the model does need that done, I'm not going to strip and go inside this because there's going to be a speaker and some switches and a little wire going to the battery pack, wires going down to the nacelles, <sighs> yeah, the original one never had these parts lit up, the grills. I made a model ages ago, the Ravel model, and it does. I did put the light, uh, uh, lit those up just to see how it looked, and it looks pretty good. But that's not the classic Enterprise. That is the Strange New World Enterprise. So what I want to do is put the stickers on and see what, where, when, how. So let's have a look at the stickers. I don't want to stretch anything again, it's the plastic bag, I know, but I really don't want to do this. But I'm gonna, come on, rip. I cannot get into this bag. I should just tear, there you go, better. So we have instructions and stickers. So stickers you have on here, these parts go on the, underneath of the pylons, I think that goes down the back of here, side of the pylons with the NCC1701 on instead of, um, yeah, 1701D. That'll go on the front here. These two will go underneath, but they make sure one faces one way and the other faces the other. That goes on the back end underneath. So, yeah, I mean, that goes on the shuttle bay actually, around the back. Shuttle bay lights. And these go on the side of the ship, port and starboard. Yeah. Let's sticker this up and see what she looks like when she's done. I'm near the end of putting the stickers on, but I've got a problem. Um, I've got the what, two that go on the side of the, the pylons and the register in the name. I've got plenty of pictures on the internet which do exactly where this goes, so I'm going to try and line it up as best I can. The problem with it is these. I've got every single picture I see, because this is going to be the... Uh, starboard nacelle, which is obviously it's that way around, NCC1701. However, the one below, this point here, the whole lot points that way. So it doesn't, this, if I put this one on that way, it will point that way. And all ones point from the bottom upwards. All of these little insignia bits kind of go bottom diagonal sort of upwards, which is fine, except they've done these the wrong way around. <laughs> So I'm actually going to cut the numbers out of this and do them properly. So this number seven, which was supposed to be the port one, will actually be the starboard. It's basically every one of these insignias want to go, oh, that's a diagonal. And if we put this one on this side, which the, the yeah, the, the markings will be the right way, the numbers will be upside down. So I'm going to cut them out and put them properly. So two minutes and we're done. Right then. Stickers are on. Full layouts there is how they're supposed to go on. The buttons there, it shows you the bottom side as well. It does show the shuttle bay on the back, although the shuttle bay actually is wrong. There's a yellow one in the middle, it's supposed to be green. But the back on here, it, this this isn't perfect. It gives you a, such a guide of, of, but I'll go through that in a second. But I'm happy enough with it. It looks really good and I'll show you now. So here she comes. Ta-da! This is how they, yes, th th this is the problem with these, is they're made on a budget, they're not perfect, nobody ever said these were going to be perfect. <sighs> um, right, there's a, there's a lot of piece of plastic on here that I just, just sat doing bits of flashing and stuff, but I've got a slight bubble there. I'll just peel that one back up and redo that one again. But 
it's not the right size but even this part here doesn't fit properly it's meant to just stop up to there and then this yellow bit is supposed to be closer up I could cut and move further on but do I need to? do I really? I don't know but I'll show you on the sides there we go that's a better see these points here were meant to be I don't know, if there was a the right number right way around well upside down with this yeah the points would have been pointing that way it all points forward all these insignias point forwards so there that is better the one that gets me a little bit is I've deliberately not done these now on the actual proper model itself these corners is it trying to stand off these corners are cut out so they actually go kind of behind where the pylon is <sighs> I, I, there has been a little bit of movement and stuff, but I just thought we'll put them as close as humanly possible to get there. They're not lined up with the bottom of this. They line up so they kind of just cut that corner, right in that corner there out, goes into into here. So it is on the the model kit from when you buy the Ravel or the AMT, whatever Polar Lights one. It is like that, but this is this is a a stickered up ship, which is it's nice to see. It's nice to have, and I've also fixed. Little problem with the uh, port. It's a little bit darker colour, but I can work on that anyway. Worst case, I could paint both of these exactly the same colour. But yeah, the other side looks perfectly fine. The insignia on the side of there, or numbers on there, and underneath. Surprisingly, for the age of this, actually has these on the back. I don't think these are in the right place but they aren't bad for this and the registry number that way and then back as way around it would have been if the ship's coming towards you you see it, you pass on the green so you would see that number on the green and you wouldn't be wrong if you could see that's upside down this is an old naval thing so but it's it kind of works anyway so there we go there's a there's not too much detail what gets me a little bit is on here this is very smooth there's nothing there's no detail the box shows a lot of things that are wrong. It does show there's, there's grid lines on here. Yes, there was grid lines. They weren't as pronounced on the original. There are some model kits that make the grid lines so, so thick, it's ridiculous. But with this, there were supposed to be grid lines and then suddenly there isn't. That part there isn't stuck in properly, so it looks like it's sticking out further. But that's just down to production issues. I could probably pull it out, but I'll leave it. It's not a bad little model, these. If you can get hold of one of these, they are extraordinarily rare. Very, very rare to get hold of these. Actually, in this state, there's no yellow in. This has been boxed. it has been sat doing absolutely nothing, apparently, even though there's bits of wear and tear on there. And it's it's probably just box wear, I suppose. I really do need to take that bubble out of there, I think. Maybe a little bit of a heat gun I can take that out with. But yeah, it's nah, that's going, that's squashing down nicely. But it, it's these aren't produced, these aren't anywhere anymore. So you'd have to get lucky, like I did, to get one of these. Yeah, on the state it is. So I am really happy with this. This is going to go as part of the collection. Then like I said, the only problem with it is these screws. If you're going to display it so it's in the air, you're going to see all the screws. It's going to look, it looks shockingly bad. I don't remember it looking as good as this, to be honest. I thought the original one looked, when I went out back in the day, back in 95, it looked worse than this. Granted, I could probably fill these in, touch over, and make this, make this as good as possible, but then I'd probably have to respray it. It's not the right colour. It's more of a, um, a, a submarine grey, a gunmetal grey, or a whatever grey, the original bodywork on this, but it's not. <laughs> so it's, <laughs> you can't do much with it. Even the deflector, one, it's not really pointed, but that doesn't matter so much. There's lots we could do with this, but I think for history's sake, I'm gonna keep this exactly as it is and not upgrade, deface and faff. So it's gonna look as good now as what it did then, as what it will in the future. If that makes sense to you, then I don't know. So with that in mind, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you did a little unboxing. Oh, what is it? it's 27 years late, <laughs> but never mind. 
Please like, subscribe, please follow me on social media and I'll see you in another video. Bye for now.